Eh, qué rollo, quiero mandar un saludo a mi amigo Goodfella, de parte de tu amigo Jaime Munguía. Un abrazo, carnal. Ánimo. All right, man, let's talk about Javante Davis. We covering this Frank Ballpark Frank and Stank Tank Davis, Stank Davis fight as best as possible. Um, apparently, you know, obviously we know that uh, Javante did not show up to the grand arrivals. Now, apparently somebody posted a video on social media of Javante Davis running outside in Las Vegas with a sweatsuit on in that Vegas heat so it's leading to believe the people that he possibly is having problems making the weight so people are speculating that he having problems making the weight and also we're going to talk about this supposed hit list and they said he's everybody going to get their turn and you know, Leonard and him saying he going to turn up and, and fight a lot of these guys, man. But uh, let's talk about it, man. Let's talk about the, the weight thing. And, you know, he took a year off, over a year off. So, in my humble opinion, you got to understand, he 29. I keep telling y'all about that 29, 28 range, 30 range and age. That's when you really got to, your body starts to change. That's why I be telling y'all, that's when your body starts to change. What I mean about your body changing, it starts to break down food a lot, a lot different. And, you know, you hear people kind of speaking on the Devin and, and the supplements and the pairs, and they don't have any idea on how any of that shit work. Luckily, I have a smidge of, of, of knowledge as far as how that works. Now, about how to, a little bit of how the, the body works. But, yeah, well, like right around the age, I just noticed that I couldn't break down certain foods the way I used to break down. I used to be able to break it down, metabolism, burn it up, go out. Then it would break down slower. You'd be on the toilet a little bit longer. You'd be sluggish. Um, I used to go out drinking when I was younger than that and wake up the next morning and run and lift like ain't nothing happened. Used to work out seven days a week. You know, as you get older, your body starts to change. Um... And then you have to start doing things smarter and and, and 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 doing things differently. And you learn that. You know, your body starts to mature. And as you get, uh, you know, as you start to get into your 30s, that's why I always tell y'all, that's why you see a lot of bodybuilders really at their pinnacle in their mid to late 30s, early 40s, because you start to get that grown man strength, that bone, your bone density, your bones become more dense. That's kind of what they mean. You start to get that grown man strength. So... You can't combat that. You can't combat any of it. your body. You know, you can have a sensitivity. I'll tell you this. I didn't know you wasn't supposed to eat raw spinach. Um, it was not good for you because you have to cook a certain, I forget the name of the chemical. You have to cook it out the spinach. And I would, I would eat raw spinach like every day for at lunch at least. And at different times of the day for like a year straight. Damn near. And I would have these badass stomach cramps. I stopped eating the spinach and it started to clear my test my intestines. I stopped having no stomach cramps. So they say you have to cook the spinach to get so I just switched over to lettuce and arugula. Arugula is good too. So a lot of you brothers that's looking for natural uh ways to boost your blood flow in your body, arugula, um, for watermelon with the seeds, um, all that type of shit, right? So I switched to arugula um and more lettuce base. So yeah. But, yeah, just certain things like that. Like, some people may not have that sensitivity. It may not mess with them. So, you know, as he get, he get into that age where, you know, he did fight twice in the first, like, the first four months of last year. But then he took a year off. He had to sit in the pen for a minute. People said he came out looking good coming out of jail. So did Floyd. But then that's when Errol Spence put them hands, feet, and toes, and elbows on Floyd in that sparring. So, you know, you can't mimic boxing. You really can't mimic boxing shape. You know, it really, you can't even mimic boxing shape by sparring for real. Only way you can really stay truly sharp in boxing is by fighting on a consistent basis. So, of course, he may have some trouble missing, you know, with the weight, especially if he's not using a nutritionist and he eyeballing it. You know, he's just doing it on his own. After a while, you know, you may need a nutritionist, especially when you stand in a weight you probably should naturally be at. So, 
Yeah, nutritionist, test your blood, you know, make sure what's happening. Tell you exactly what you need. It's good for y'all to get a nutritionist, especially if you got insurance. Use that shit. Yeah, get a nutritionist, test your blood. You know, don't gotta go get Ozempic and no shit like that. I think that's some lazy shit for people that's too far gone. Test your blood, see how much protein, see exactly what type of diet that you should be on. You know, the best maintain it, but if you don't know, but like I said before with him, yeah, he's just at the age where his body's starting to change and you know, um, you know, and maybe he kind of, due to the inactivity, he may be missing the weight a little bit. So, um, and if he out there got a, he that far off, if he got a run in the Vegas heat, he 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 must be far off. So I think about fight week, I just guess probably they Tuesday. You probably hoping to be what three, four, maybe five pounds the most off. So maybe he more about eight, nine pounds off. You know what I'm saying off the weight. Maybe a little bit seven, eight. If you got to run, if you got to run at night, you got to run in the in the Vegas heat. You got to run. Um, that means you probably tr you having a problem making weight. So, yep. And all them little, them little, them little, every every little thing. Time you cheat when you making that weight, it hurts you. Especially if you don't cheat the right way. If you cheat the right way at the right time, that shit'll burn. That'll kick, boost your metabolism up. But once you you consistently cheat like that, you know, towards the end, you can cheat a little bit more because your metabolism is killing it. So it may start to slow down and get used to the diet. So now you throw a little bit of bad shit in there, it'll kickstart it some more and it burn that shit off even faster. So, so yeah, but nonetheless, you know, if he missed the weight, he'd be like, the belt don't matter, fuck the belt, all that. But then it'll be said, you know, when people ask him at the Grand, grand Arrivals because his team had to speak for him and Leonard is an unofficial um, team or unofficial mascot for Tank Davis because he no longer promotes him under Mayweather promotion and said that oh Shakur gonna get it, Devin gonna get it, Loma they all gonna get their shots, they all gonna get their chance. Okay, if they all gonna get their chance, you know, is it gonna be under the PBC banner because we hear rumors that PBC may be gone. Somebody said you be hating on PBC and and I had on top break, I had on PBC, I had on match room. I'm not kissing nobody's ass around this motherfucker. You know, you y'all like it. Y'all like it for it to be told how it might be. I tell y'all how it is. You know, so if you want to be lied to, go over there to Gar Coke sniffing Garfield the cat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So y'all only lied to him. Just telling y'all what it is. And at the end of the day, um, if he do choose to fight these dudes, that means it's probably somebody else gonna force to do that. Somebody else gonna pay him to do that, or he gonna be forced into that boxing league to fight the best. That's that's my guess, cause he ain't did it in all these years. Why you wait till you thirty years old to go in there and fight the best? You know, but like I said before, you know, if he fight him, he fight him. But they've been saying that for years. And every time Tank got a fight, uh, he tied into a fight. He always say, "Well, I fight these guys. I fight these guys. I fight these guys." Hold on, real quick. I fight these guys. I fight these guys. I fight these guys. And then you know, when there's nothing but space and opportunity, when they ain't got nothing lined up, and Tank ain't got nothing lined up. He quiet as a church mouse. He go away. So it's no point to believe unless they rendezvoused the fighter had to fight, aka signed previously ahead of time, that he gonna fight him. So at the end of the day, people say, "Oh, yo, you be hating on PBC? Look at the, look at what they got left." You ever heard that song off a of Ti album? Was it? Is it trap music? I get them urban legend and trap music messed up. I think it might be trap music. Come look what I got. Look, look, listen to that song by Ti. Look what I got. They ain't got nothing. That's like going into the going into Sears when they was having they going away sale or a store having to go in on a bin. Ain't nothing in there after a while. Come look what I got. An old school Chevy in the drop. Come and look what I got. That's my shit right there. You know, ain't got nothing left. The proof's in the pudding. Charcoal Brothers down bad. Earl down bad. You know what I'm saying? Eric's and Lube ain't, you know, been what they thought he was going to do. do. Gary Russell, what he down bad? Who else we got? We can go with Deontay, he out of there. A B, he out of there. So a lot of y'all, you know, it just it is what it is, bro. Y'all, y'all, y'all looking at a, a business model. Anybody with a little bit of business sense can look at the business model that they run, and it's not sustainable. It's not sustainable. So. You know, will he fight Secure? Will he fight Loma? Will he fight this this phantom uh, hit list? It ain't, it ain't gonna be by choice. It ain't gonna be by my body, my choice. No, it's gonna be by 
under somebody else's banner. It's gonna be under somebody else, uh, under somebody else's nation. One nation. It's gonna be under somebody else's nation. One nation. You know, under the groove. Yeah. He gonna be under somebody else's groove. Pause. So yeah, he ain't, he talk all that gangster shit to sell us for. Oh, fight them. We'll fight them. Then when the fight, voila, magic. My future voice. When the fight is over with, that motherfucker, he he disappear. He ain't got nothing to say, bro. And one of my subs DM me, I forgot I even did this video talking about how Javante Davis said he was nervous on that PBC behind the glove, whatever it's called, when he fought Ryan Garcia. The nigga's a whole bitch, man. I kept telling y'all niggas that shit, dog. That nigga's a scary-ass nigga, bro. I used to be a huge Tank fan. I thought Tank could beat anybody. But really, that motherfucker's a, the dude behind the Wizard of Oz curtain, little a little boy. He don't, he not confident. And, I, and you can, obviously, you can see that in his action. He ain't got to say it. Cause motherfucker said all blue in his face. I'm a tough dude. I can do this, that, and the third. But if you ain't gonna show the actions, it really, really don't really matter. Um, it don't matter. But uh, but you know, like I said before, um, you ain't gonna try to fight nobody, bro. He moved like he moved like a putty cat, bro. So you know, everybody can keep wishing and hoping that that tank, you know, is gonna fight these guys. If it's he fight them, somebody gonna overpay him and basically force him to walk the plank and that's just what it is dude ain't he ain't that he ain't what he portrayed to be this gangster and most gangsters in the hood ain't who they portray to be bro these niggas just emotional uh, uh low iq people who don't even understand what they doing that's all most in the hood niggas is is an over emotional um angry low iq people and the the gangsters or the hood niggas that got high IQs, they usually you know you know without being over emotional or had a you know not let they get in the way. Oh, they usually they usually be the most successful financially. But you don't have just a lot of those smart OGs around no more. Just a whole bunch of angry, over emotional, trigger happy, um, low IQ idiots. So thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notification, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video financially. Uh wanna support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good313, Venmo, CJ Good313, PayPal link in the description, the link tree, find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal. Uh, check out the Patreon. Peace.